Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by today's title, I have my main favourite, holy like cannoli. I cannot believe we are like coming towards the end of May. It's just insane how quick this year is going. I can't, I can't, like what is going on with my accent for starters? It's like all over the place today. I can't even cope, like it's just insane. We are nearly in the end of May. June is around the corner, then it's going to be July, and it's going to be my birthday, and before you know it's going to be Christmas again, and I'm just like, where has 2016 gone? So, I didn't do a March favourites, because I didn't really, there was not enough things for me to do to include in a video, so I didn't really do one, but I've managed to get together a couple of products so that I could do a May one. So, I want to start with like the non- hair and makeup and beauty products and uh, the first thing well I've actually got a sad story basically as you know my favourite water bottle was like that pink one and had on like the times that you're supposed to drink the amount of water for long story short that got broke so I need to get a new water bottle and I'm going on holiday in two weeks it's actually two weeks today that I'm going to be on holiday and I couldn't afford to buy another one of those because they're like 15 pounds so I had to get a water bottle and obviously I don't want to get just like a plain one I mean this does look plain but it does have a gimmick of course it has a gimmick it's me I need a gimmick so my first favorite is my new water bottle of course it is black because black is one of my favorite colors or shade and it's by Sistema S-I-S-T-E-M-A I don't know but this is where it gets pretty okay, I'm such a loser but little it's the little things in life that entertain me and this is how I drink it Feel free to unsubscribe because I'm not cool, I know, but this little thing, you know what I mean? Like, that just entertains me, I'm just like, that's so cool. So that's my first favourite. I know, I'm such a loser, but, oh well. So my second favourite kind of goes hand in hand, well, not, but it's a drink, and it is one that I drank this morning, so it is empty but that goes to show I enjoy it, right? And it's by Alpro and it is the Soya Chocolate Milk. <gasps> this is just like my holy grail. I think I have one a day because it tastes so good. And then if I'm really wanting to treat myself, I will like put some of this with some Rice Krispies and then I have like DIY Cocoa Pot. And it's just so good and so satisfying. I can say I am an artificially sweet sort of person like natural sugars and fruits and stuff don't really satisfy me so I do need like fake stuff not that this is fake but like you know it's good I love it and if you are a fan of like normal milkshakes I really do think you will like that um, you can't really tell the difference and it's better for you so you know win win so the next few things are from the same brand. I did recently get some new hair, like products slash range, and I've been trying them out and I do really enjoy them. And they are all from the brand Fudge. Now I have used Fudge before, they have like the most amazing purple shampoo. Like if you want to tone your hair, get their purple shampoo and your hair will be like borderline lilac. It's amazing. But I actually have the Smooth Shot Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, my friend blow dried my hair like a couple of months, like about six to eight weeks ago. And it was like the best blow dry I've ever had in my life. Like my hair was so smooth and shiny and silky. And I was like, I need whatever it is that you did use on my hair. So I bought it all. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the Smooth Shot Shampoo and Conditioner, which has frizz defying ginger extract and ampersand oil. And another fun fact, it actually says on the bottle that they're against animal testing. Yes. So I got that shampoo and conditioner and then she also used these on my hair so I just felt like I needed them. And it is the Tri Glow Prime Shine and Protect Blow Dry Spray which looks like this. And the Light Headed Oil Supercharged Light and Dry Spray. So I use these like when my hair is wet before I blow dry and then I sprinkle a bit on it when it's dry. And... I'm loving my hair. I know my hair's curly today, so you can't like really tell how like smooth and shiny and luscious it is, but like 
I really have noticed a difference since using those and I do really really like them and I'm so glad that Gemma introduced me to them. So the next product that is in my favourites is this little jewel sided brush which is actually from Wilkinson's. If you watched my last favourites video you would see that I had two other brushes from there in that favourites and I don't know why I didn't mention this one in that video because I'm pretty sure I was loving it then too. But basically one side is fluffy and then the other side is a really fine tipped angled brush and this is like my holy grail to the nose contour. I just draw like down here with the angle side and I just blend it out with the fluffy side and seven times out of ten my nose is on point. I'm still trying to master the nose contour, I do feel like I look really weird if I don't do it but it's saving me like a couple thousand pounds in a nose job so I really do like that brush. The next product is an eyeshadow palette so if you do like my makeup today I do have a tutorial coming on Wednesday but sneak peek to what I used in the tutorial it is the BH Cosmetics of Shanik So palette and yeah I just I have been using this hmm I was, I think I have used this every day for two months like I just absolutely love this eyeshadow palette and ooh, this rosy gold one and this one are probably my two favorite I love having like a wet brush and making like a foiled eyeshadow on the lid it just looks absolutely amazing and I do love this um, the only thing that I do wish that this palette had in it would be like a medium matte brown because everything has shimmer in it apart from these two so there's not really like a nice mattish colour for the crease but other than that I absolutely love this palette you can kind of mix these two to make your own but this one is so orange and this one is so dark it's not like brown but I do love this palette and I have used it every day for some sort of eye makeup um the lipstick side though mm, I'm not a fan I literally use one of the lipsticks twice once for this tutorial and once just to try them out I just don't get it I personally would put like a, bl a blush a highlight and a contour in the other side because I just think pan lipsticks they are so hard to put on you literally spend like 10 minutes like trying to build up a good coverage on your lips so I'm not a fan of the lipsticks but I would have paid like I don't know how much this was but however much it was that I paid I would have paid that just for the eyeshadow so the lipsticks are just a bonus but yeah I'm not really a fan of them and then one of my last favorites I wasn't going to include this because I've literally only had it a couple of days but it's really funny because I was actually going to return it because it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be and then I restuffed it with all the stuff that it came with and then I looked at it and I was like I can't return it I just can't so I thought I would include it because I'm pretty sure it's still in stock and it is this beautiful grey hold all bag which is from the Sarah Ashcroft for La Moda um what is it collab and yeah I can't even like get it all in but this bag is absolutely beautiful I was looking on their site because I would like a actual daily handbag in this like print and texture because I absolutely love it I was hoping that this was gonna be a little bit smaller so it could have been like an everyday bag but it's just too big it is actually a hold all I misread the um, sizing on the site when I was looking at it but yes I do love this bag it does come with a bigger strap but it's like all in the bottom because I was getting ready to return it and I just couldn't do it because I just thought it looks so pretty and I'm, it's just such a nice bag what was that accent I really where did that even come from because that was weird so that is pretty much it for my favorites now I feel like I should like have a little celebratory like favorite because today marks my one month being vegan and I couldn't feel better or be better or be happier so that is another favorite my new lifestyle change and I'm so happy that I did it I promise this will be like be probably the last time I do mention it in a video so I feel like it's not really something that everyone cares for but it is one of my favorites of the month and the rest of my life so yeah so let me know if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up let me know in the down bar what your favorite was out of my favorites and if it is the cool little 
twisted opening thing that my water bottle does, then I really appreciate you and you are a loser too. <laughs>